It just seems like there's too many people out today. There's too much traffic going on. And the right lane is closed. To the William Penn building. That right lane is closed. I wonder if they're doing some kind of construction. Or they're in in the next two days it'll be completely shut off, blocked off because they there's some kind of um, situation that they that they need to fix. And then, and then it's just dead here. It says jam-packed on Broad Street. And dead right behind it. I'll have to drive back the other way and see how... See what, what the holdup is on that one lane. Because nobody's moving right now. just find it suspicious. That the lane wants to be blocked up. construction going on. I wonder if they're setting up the bombs, you know, the ones that are going to explode the streets. Is the earthquake going to happen here in Philadelphia? Because with them just closing up streets and cutting in, you know, they come in, they do their job. And then it's like a line of, it's like a line of fire from, from this section to the, to the William Penn section. Straight down, threading the needle. Right across the park, the Love Park. You know, and they're doing a lot of construction right here as well. They've been doing construction here, but I'm starting to catch on that 
it kind of feels like they're going to do a lot of street digging. I mean, I would have thought they would have already done that by now. If you're going to make a if you're going to make the ground quake, you're going to set it up ahead of time, not days before. But in order to clear the street to make sure people are out of the way, yeah, you can kind of block the streets off and make it go in the one lane and, the, and then eventually just you can't go in that direction anymore or create some kind of car accident or just something. Something, bank robbery, th rumor, to, to just clear the space. Over there is the the Rodden Museum. Rodden, R O D I N. I mean, all you gotta do is take the take the D and turn it the other way, and it shows the guy thinking. I'll have to walk by this and examine it a little bit further. It's lunchtime. Yeah, normally I'd head over to that 7 Eleven and give them my. Uh, I would head over to that 7 Eleven and buy something. And then the guy that's there, the owner, he could sell me his, uh, his chicken rollers. Buffalo chicken rollers? Not today. Looks like it's eating no pleasant bread for the next three weeks. Nothing pleasant, nothing. No type of pleasantry. Like at the stores, no McDonald's, no drive through. I'm not going to compromise. There's no drive-thru. Starting yesterday, uh, I, whenever the last time I ate something. Starting yesterday, Sunday, April the 19th, COVID-19. It's time to go three weeks with no pleasant bread. I mean, it, whether you want it, whether you want to or not, really, it's it's going to get that to that point anyway, <laughs> where it's not good enough that you have a mask as you're going through the drive-through, but you're gonna you're also going to need gloves and your badge of servitude stating that you got your test done, and then a perfect way to to be a nice a really nice cooperative sheep is to buy some of Jonathan Click's uh, clothing line, the mask. Get the get the one that says "Stay positive, but test negative." That's a really good one because then you can just shut your mouth and put that over it. But you'll be allowed to go and eat pleasant bread for sure. Just know that I won't be. I started it yesterday. Now everybody else can do what you want. I'm just telling you that this is a, this isn't, it's not like I'm saying, you know what, I think I'm just not going to go in and get my breathfix at Wawa anymore. It, it's more like a forced hand. If they're forcing you to wear the, if they're, if they're marking you up, checking you in because ultimately you have to be checked in in order to buy anything at the at the store so as they see you come in with your mask on check he's good hey did you mark him present yes i marked him 
clearly he's been marked. Uh, he can buy. Yes, he can buy whatever we're selling in this establishment. So because it happened like that, well, this definitely would be that time to start really thinking about Bible prophecy being fulfilled in the book of Daniel. I've never had more a better opportunity to to literally play out the three weeks of Daniel eating no pleasant bread. I'm not saying eating nothing at all. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Haven't made my mind up yet on that one. But not going into the stores and eating any, anything that's pleasantly and conveniently just cooked for you right then and there. It's not going to happen. Because it's not truly three weeks of not eating anything at all. And that's what I thought it was a couple years back. Where you... Because I went to seven days, ate nothing, and then for two weeks I did uh, just vegetable, like salad and fruit. Maybe I'll... Well, um, see, fresh, it would be... You'd have to have fresh fruit and salad. I'm not stepping into the store. If anybody wants to go for me, <clears throat> that's fine. You can go for me. Because you're not going to burn in hell. Um, it's just I'm going to make the stand myself personally. And if it goes any further than the three weeks, <clears throat> then I'll just have to um, just have to deal with it. This sheep's getting ready to get hit by a damn car. He don't even care anymore. He's like, screw it. <coughs> well, he was a half, half sheep. He's half sheep. Pretty soon there's going to be nothing but, um, you know, like that. Probably seventy-five percent and twenty-five percent on the on the ledge, like compromising, still kind of trying to blend in, feeling guilty but you can't help it, but you need food. And, and that's the whole point. That's what this thing's doing to you. It's making you feel feelings that you've never thought you th would feel before. A lot of people are going through depression already, stir crazy in their house. It's, it's, I mean, to me, it's still fairly normal. I mean, I'm not allowed in any food store anymore, but, but I mean, you know, just maybe, then maybe I should cut down on what I'm eating. Did you ever think of that, Robin? Huh? Maybe you should just cut down, fat boy. I mean, I mean there's a lot of traffic going on around here. not blocked off anymore but man what is that what does that look like I forgot the name of it uh, is it see look that there's the store they've accepted the mark of the beast oh well I don't know. It reminds me of that that statue. It's that angel kissing a woman or something like that. I can't think of the damn name of it. Is it like Psycho or something? Psyche? Psyche? Anaki? No, it's not, wasn't it? got to change today.
Click, you don't like when people are homeless, do you? Makes you, you, you want to help them, don't you? Like open up your pocketbook to them, to those homeless people, especially in wheelchairs. Mandatory test. Mandatory test. Your mask. If you wear, if you're a good sheep, and you wear the, te if you get your test done, and you get your mask, and you wear the one that says stay, stay positive, test negative. You'll be allowed to do whatever, you know, you'll be able to go. I mean, who knows? What the hell? You'll be able to, uh, you know, participate in these reindeer games. Must be somebody on their phone, like making cam videos or something. Oh, that's why that's. That's why it's like that. Well, no, it's everybody's pulled over. Getting something. But that's what needs to happen around the William Penn building just to make sure that nobody is there enough you know I mean he only came like six centimeters uh, two centimeters just like that robot stalking Marty the robot so you need to make sure that you you have a roadblock around the William Penn building to keep everybody out from around there. <clears throat> but if you cooperate, <clears throat> you'll be able to, you'll be able to, you know, just basically blend right into society because of this movement, this mask movement. They wouldn't just start producing these masks. Like, Click wouldn't just start having these produced, even though they were already designed, the patent and everything. He wouldn't ever had them produced if he didn't plan on keeping this um, pandemic going for a very long time. I mean, it could go for a long time. But just remember this, for the sake of the elect, those days shall be shortened. But how many days do we got to go through this? <clears throat> With just not blending in with everybody. <clears throat>